Oh, do you really want to know what happened? Yeah. I, I, I was in Malta, in the Navy. Alan was in the British Navy. British Navy. And uh, I said to my friend, we went to this dance, which was sort of the, the naval dance. And I said to my friend, well, now I'm here, I better tidy my hair up. So I heard this voice behind me say, well, for goodness sake, hurry up. I've been waiting long <laughs> enough. Who on earth is that? And it was Alan. And he made a big difference in my life. I don't think he had any enemies. And he always did the right thing. So trying to live up to him was very hard, actually. And what else do you want me to tell you about the Holocaust? Yeah. Only if it's up to, that's up to you. Only if you're okay with it. I was, um, I was working for British Paramount. How old are you? A 18. I was going into the Navy the next year. So I was working there, you know. I went for a job as a secretary. And I ended up as somebody looking at all the films and crossing all the films off and every scene in the film. So I, I came to this with the Holocaust. And it was Auschwitz. And all these people trailing up the railway lines to get on the train that took them to the camp where they were killed where they were put to sleep all put in a room and the and there were hundreds of them so it a very very bad time and so I, I I got very upset and took myself into the cupboard and locked me in and stayed there for a little while and of course, all this time, we were being bombed as well. So one time at the Paramount, uh, there were all these bombs falling, and we all rushed up to see what was happening to the roof. And we saw this plane coming down. So we all were saying, oh, they've got it. They've hit it. What it was, they had these but these planes that ran for a while and then dropped on everybody with all their bombs. And this was one of these planes. So there we are saying, hey, they've got it. And it wasn't. It was a, a plane full of bombs. And... So there were a lot of things that were happening then. You didn't know whether you were going to come back that night or what. And I came home one night and my mother said, Oh, come on in, there's something happening somewhere. I said, yes, I've just come through it. All the bombs. <laughs> and how do you think this like affected your life? How did it affect my life? Or impacted your life? Well, it made me see that you could, it wasn't guaranteed. You were here just now, but you might not be here tomorrow. Right? So live every moment. Yeah. Okay. Every moment. And I have had a wonderful life. I'm very, very happy with it. Traveled the world. Learned a lot of things like this. And we've, Alan was my person that I had to look up to though. He was always so kind to people and whatever he did, he, he, he was fabul fabulous. I remember when he went for his test, he went for an exam into the foreign office as, you know, into the diplomatic corps. 
and he'd come out of the Navy and he, he, we lived in Port Southsea in um, England and he just picked up a, a ruler and popped it into his pocket. He said, I'll be seeing you. And that was him going for a huge exam. And when, when we got the results, we started at the back. He was seventh in the Foreign Office. I mean, there were 100, and he was number seven. <laughs> so he really was a very, very bright person. But that time when he just told me to hurry up, for Pete's sake, hurry up. I've been waiting long enough. Who on earth is that? <laughs> so, uh, have you got, do you need more? <laughs>